Hello everybody, I am Stephanie Stewart. I'm the media archivist at Oregon Public Broadcasting, uh, more commonly known as OPB. And uh, I'm here in the OPB archives and to show you some of, uh, some of what we have here. So here's, uh, here's just some equipment. These are some AV racks that we have in the archives. Uh, currently there's some work that's needed on these racks. Um, when they're in working condition, it really comes in handy. I can uh, preview some of the uh, footage on some of the different formats that we have in the archives. And I'll talk a little bit more about those formats as we go along. Uh, but yeah, you'll see a monitor here and AV switcher and some, uh, some various decks that we have on hand. Here we have some 2-inch videotape. Um, I don't actually have any 2-inch videotape in the OPB archives, although I think there, there was some at some point, or there could be some at Oregon State University, which is where OPB started. Uh, OPB used to be part of Oregon State. Uh, so it's possible they have some of the older two-inch videotape formats there. Um, these are just some sample formats to show that OPB used to record on these formats. And here we have a three-quarter inch pneumatic videotape deck. Uh, again, this is another situation where someone said, hey, do you want this? And uh, I said, yes. <laughs> Always good to have some backup equipment on hand, um, if for nothing else, and for show and tell. To let people know that this is also a format that OPB uh, recorded on frequently. Okay, now we are heading into the archive storage area. And taking you back to the back, I'm going to show you some <clears throat> boxes of different media formats and paper materials. Uh, these are OPB's national productions. OPB used to um, do a lot more national productions than they do now. They've, they've moved more towards local, local stories and local productions. That's a really big focus now. Um, but here in the archives we do have these uh, formats, earlier formats for the national productions. Um, here you see Time Team America. This was uh, one of OPB's productions, um, episodic series that uh, ran on PBS. Another box of Time Team America. And by this point, this is actually called Time Team 2. This is the second season of Time Team, and there's a little bit of a span of time between when the first season aired and when the second season aired and by the time the second season aired uh, the formats had changed so now we have XD cam as the primary format that was in use at OPB for video uh, this is a disc format it's still in use today uh, OPB still uses this format and um, it's still in use in the wider world too and here we have a bit more older equipment that at this point um, are really artifacts for OPB. These aren't in use anymore. Uh, we have some 60 millimeter film viewers here. And although we really don't have much uh, film on site here at OPB anymore, uh, OPB did shoot on film and a lot of that film was transferred to the Oregon Historical Society because they have a film vault where they can safely store that film um, much better conditions there for film. Uh, lower temperature, lower humidity, and that's that's all really good for, for film. Um, here we have a Video 8 little monitor and deck. Um, Goldberg film can here. And uh, some, some interesting audio format decks here. So we've got a wire recorder and KOAC was how OPB started in the early 1920s. Um, KOAC was a radio station hosted out of Oregon State University. 
and uh, television came along a little later for LPB. Uh, I believe it was in the 50s or 60s. And then we have a quarter inch audio reel to reel deck here too. Now just showing you quickly some uh, one inch open reel videotape of LPV. Uh, so we do still have one inch videotape, no longer have any two inch here, but we do have some one inch. Uh, most of this is boxed up so you can't see it. Um, but down here, kind of box so you can see a little better. And let's see here. Sagebrush Sailors, that was a OPB show from 1990. On this, uh, on this one inch tape and you can see it's labeled as a master. And then just down the aisle here, uh, we have more one inch videotape on the shelf and some three quarter inch humatic tapes written in boxes. These are both formats that OPB would have recorded on for uh, television programming. And then just on the other side here, more Umatics that are in boxes. D3 videotape. This was uh, another format that OPB shot on for uh, television programming. And all of these tapes in this area that I'm in right here were sent to a preservation laboratory and these were all digitized. And it's about 420 or so videotapes that were digitized and here are the digital files on these uh, large eight terabyte hard drives uh, and some slightly smaller drives too. We have a four terabyte drive here and we have preservation masters, mezzanine copies and uh, access copies. Um, web quality copies of all of these videotapes that were digitized. And these will um, will be going up on the American Archive of Public Broadcasting, as well as into OPB's Media Asset Management System. Uh, this is all a, a work in progress. Um, not all of the files will be going up on the American Archive site. Um, there was a big review that was done on all of the files uh, and some of them had some rights restrictions, uh, privacy issues, you know, things like that. Um, that means we, we can't put them up online. Um, but yeah, at least half, maybe a little more than half will be going up on the American Archive site. So more to, more to come on that. Keep your eyes peeled. So here we have some materials from OPV Radio. Uh, so we do have radio as well as television materials in the archives. And I uh, pulled out a couple of samples here to show. Uh, what we have in this box is some quarter inch audio tape as well as some CDs. So a little bit of a mix here. And this is a recording from 1969, Tom McCall, who was governor of Oregon. See here, we do have indeed have magnetic tape, audio tape. We have another box here. Looks like it would be also magnetic open reel audio tape. That's what the case looks like. But when you open it up, it turns out we actually have DAT tapes. Uh, so good reminder to, uh, to always look inside your, your containers and cases. Make sure you know what you have. And this is uh, a program called Satellite Sisters from around 2001, it looks like. So yeah, part of uh, the OPB radio archive. Okay, here we have some more videotape formats. 
and uh, all down this aisle here are uh, original camera media uh, from out in the field and this is all from a show called Oregon Field Guide and I had mentioned that uh, OPB had shifted from mostly national productions to mostly local productions and this is one of those local productions you can probably tell here these are arranged alphabetically by the name of the story or production video production Alfred Mars Rover Now and again, mostly uh, different Betacam formats for videotape, and then when OPB moved to uh, shooting on XD cam, um, that, that switch happened here for the field footage too, so this is actually, in this box, XD cam discs. There we have, excuse the glare, <laughs> Sony XD cam. Professional disc. And just across the way here, I'm going to switch over. We have more Oregon Field Guide. ORFG stands for Oregon Field Guide. And these are actually the finished episodes. Uh, so it's kind of kind of neat to to see um, the raw product and these uh, originals behind me and then just across the way here we have the final broadcast masters that uh, would have been seen on air and most Oregon Field Guide episodes contain three different stories so those those stories would have would have started out with A set of a set of uh, videotapes or XD cam discs for that one story that then gets worked down into a final story and then into a final episode for broadcast. And here we have another local video production for OPB. It's called Oregon Experience. O-R-E-X stands for Oregon Experience. Uh, so another, again, another local show along here so you can see more. Oregon Experience. Reed would be Reed College. You notice these are labeled field tapes. So this will be the original camera footage. Uh, that would be edited down for the final program. And uh, on the other side here is another, uh, another one of OPB's flagship local shows called Oregon Artbeat. O-R-A-B, Oregon Artbeat. And again, we have field tapes. Uh, and these would be mostly beta cam formats, uh, although there's uh, a little later on, these are organized by season here, so 0423, that would be season 4, episode 23, and 0424, season 4, episode 24, and you can see uh, some uh, other labeling on here. Those are the names of the three stories that are in each of these episodes. Uh, so early on here, this is season 4, uh, these, these would be mostly beta cam, most likely digital beta cam tapes, uh, but uh, when OPB transitioned over to XD cam media, um, these field tapes ended up, end up being field discs at that point because it's more XD cam. And I should also mention that uh, all of these shows, the local shows, Oregon Field Guide, Oregon Art Beat, Oregon Experience, um, they're still on the air. Uh, and um, the, uh, the teams the teams here at OPB, they, they still use this footage, this archival footage. 
um, pretty frequently. They, uh, they go back to, uh, to some of this footage to use it, especially Oregon Field Guide, which, um, you know, as the name, the name might suggest to you, is uh, it's mostly has a focus on the environment and nature, um, outdoors, and um, they, they really revisit a lot of their older stories, uh, come back to them, so having that archival footage is really important. Uh, and Artbeat uh, does that as well sometimes too. So here we have um, some of the formats that OPB has recorded on over the years. I uh, just wanted to give you a little bit more of a close-up view of some of those formats. Um, here we have uh, one-inch videotape. One inch in width. And it's an open reel videotape format. And this is actually a recording of uh, the building I'm in right now when it was uh, first being built. You can see here it says OPB Building Project Work from September 1987. It's a videotape cassette from Betacam SP. So another pretty common format that we have in the archives here. And we also have digital Betacam. So the Betacam SP is an analog format. Um, here we have the digital videotape format, digital Betacam. And this is one of the large format tapes. You can hold more footage on it. And next we have here HD Cam, another digital videotape format. also have an XD cam disc here just so you can see a little more about what uh, or how that looks. Uh, pretty thin. You can see a disc inside the uh, plastic shell. And digital format, if that's not obvious. And two, I just pulled out a couple of um, more commercial formats that uh, OPB would have produced for uh, audience members, fans, etc. Uh, here we have VHS tape, VHS videotape of an organ field guide show, and a DVD format of an organ experience show. Okay, a little, little treat here with uh, some, some photographs from the archives. Um, it's mostly media, AV media that's in the archives, but we do have some photographs, slides, some documents, uh, some other materials as well. Um, and just wanted to show that we do have some, some photographs, some older photographs here you see KOAP TV. Uh, this was, this is a little bit about the history of OPB here. KOAP TV started at Oregon State University, um, just like the, the radio station, KOAC. And so this is part of OPB's history here. Okay, so there you have it. And uh, here's the... Uh, <laughs> couple of signs that used to be up outside the door here to the archives. Uh, I hope, uh, hope this has been useful and I uh, hope this gives you a little bit of a sense of what you might find in a public media archives.